Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratku Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to January 6th, 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you that this is a general reading for Leo Star Sign. Therefore, this reading is going to resonate differently with every single one of you. <clears throat> so for that reason, in this video, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread, but uh, you will have to align it to your uh, personal situation. Now, uh, if you want me to analyze your situation just like I'm doing um, for the examples in uh, this video, then that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there uh, you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing so that's quite interesting so this uh, reading uh, very much resembles something like a love triangle here for what it seems with this couple of people if I may express myself that way but that is very um, superficial interpretation so I will just go briefly um, through it in case that's the case then the, the Knight of Cups here in this reading Leo represents someone that you are currently having in your life someone that you are either dating or someone that you either are with you are with them uh, this is the core of the situation and that means that this person is already in your life while the next one which is the Knights of uh, Wands that will be someone that it is either as well in your life or it is yet to come mm, to enter in your life we cannot say just from these cards here so uh, what is the difference? Well, this one is very uh, kind of emotional, very slow, and they uh, they prefer to basically drown you with their, uh, I would say, drama, but it's not really a, a drama as well. It is basically, uh, let's say, a male, most likely, uh, which is uh, very attached emotionally to you while the other one here the one that causes trouble that disrupts that disturbs mm, the harmony that you may have into your relationship it's most likely very handsome it is very interesting and as well it is very passionate and it seems that this person here can offer you a thing that you really, I cannot say really want, but you really find amusing. Okay, so you may kind of slip down the slope and make an affair. It's just what the superficial interpretation of that reading says. That's why these couple of cards are coming by. Now, the first one here is the topic of your week, and you need to ask yourself. Who is the one in case we are talking about two people love triangle and something like this and the next one which is the guidance asks you to think very carefully you know what you are jeopardizing by throwing yourself into a adventure here so in case you do have for example a couple of people that you are dating right you need to be uh, very aware of what you want uh, if you want a short-term relationship you go for the passionate one if you want a long-term one you go for the emotional one that is because passion and emotions they are two different things and they don't go hand by hand together here these are natural enemies these couple of cards but the nine of pentacles in that specific case asks you to really think what is the long-term profit for you what is the long-term prosperity and who really is the one the one that finds you interesting right now and then dumps you for someone else that they find interesting or the one who truly values you as the dreams of their heart that is important 
but in case we're not talking about here for a love triangle because not everybody will have that in their uh, in their plata these cards are pointing that uh, you will have to dive in a very um, big toils or rather hard work hard labor and that labor doesn't have to be physical right it could be as well uh, mental labor or it could be emotional labor something that you need to work out and something that will not uh, reside on chance what I mean is that at the end the result is going to be just as accurate um, and uh, yeah just as accurate as your uh, performance was so if you think that you know everything will happen on its own accord that's not gonna be the case here with these couple of cards now you need to know if um, not if but you need to know that you have already start you have already started making the right moves here on the chessboard if I may express myself that way but what is as well important looking at these couple of cards especially with the nine of pentacles is that you you have to recognize basically where the value is lies and it kind of uh, same thing goes with this love triangle that i have explained to you at the start of the reading you need to know which one has from these couple of people you know which one can offer you more and in a long term same thing goes with the overall meaning here or the overall reading you have to recognize you know what kind of enterprise or what kind of activity or for that matter you know which approach or which decision is going to play a, a long-term um, influence or they're going to be uh, with a long-term profits rather than for the short-term ones it is important as well to rely on your um, experience from the past and what I mean by that is that uh, you should stick to the already known patterns rather than start to experiment um, from now on because the, the knight of wands sits into that challenging position something that holds you back and in this case the knight of wands speaks exactly for the experimenting you already know how you should approach the situation it is just you know you may have that self doubt in yourself and that is kind of understandable here with the seven of pentacles as a guidance because this card gives us an idea that you may not have the right circumstances just yet but if you are patient enough and an important matter or a important piece of information it sits just behind the corner and as soon as it comes by and uh, comes to your disposal then uh, every piece of the puzzle is going to fall together and from there you should not face any kind of challenges whatsoever it is just the hard work that will be remain to be finalized and with that finalization you can create for yourself a solid foundation to jump on forward that's right because this isn't the end of your performance this isn't the end of your unfoldment you can reach even greater heights but it is important right now to focus on your current goal on the goal that you have established for yourself in the past couple of weeks or in the past month and really push into that direction now important thing to be said as well is that you should not feel yourself obliged to uh, do things that you don't like or you find uh, emotionally disturbing so if you're not feeling okay with uh, with a certain performance with a certain approach or with an enterprise for that matter uh, you should definitely deny it so in other words you need to learn how to say no to people or abandon a, a despondent and poignant situation that you may face throughout that particular week because we do have the king of uh, the knight of cups here and that card could give us an idea that you may face such kind of a this despondent um, despondent situations or an enterprise but they will be rather petite and they will act like a, a diversion or distraction for yourself and that's why you need to be rather more 
emotionally attract and connected to uh, to your goal uh, forward so that goal could be a suitor of yours so with that specific case you should not pay attention to the additional suitors that you may have which doesn't seem that serious but yet they are they are handsome and interesting right remember what we said about the love triangle or if we're talking about your uh, career and you happen to work with that week 31st to 6th uh, then you have to focus on the big project rather than on the small tasks that are peripheral and that you are not obliged to take on them because they will only going to slow you down and if you are feeling kind of like blocked with your uh, project remember what we said here about the guidance that a uh, circumstances which are going to uh, stir you or uh, a pieces of information that you require in order to proceed on forward uh, with that important project are just behind the corner it is just you need to have a little bit more patience for it will you be successful with the nine of pentacles at least throughout that week yes but again there is more room for growth here and as soon as you um, kind of receive you know the fruits of your labor you gotta capitalize on them and most importantly invest for greater heights so that was uh, your tarot reading uh, here leo and now let's see what the lenormand cards are to say they are going to show us a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or um, try to avoid all right so the first card that we do have this is going to be uh the ship and the ship is associated with adventure the ship is associated with risk taking risks as well travel or as well could serve as a, a word from afar the next one that is going to be uh, the star and the star is associated with guidance is associated as well with finding a way and the last one, this is going to be the coffin. The coffin is like the death card. It is associated with ending and probably new beginning and as well is associated with stop. So what these cards are pretty sound actually. They are talking stop the bullshit, stop the shenanigans, you know. Stop the venture, stop the searching for another way through. I mean, you have already found your way here. Is it going to take efforts? Yeah, I mean, I guess there is no easy way around it. But at the end of the day, you are going for the bigger price here. You are going for the ultimate price. And ultimate price needs sweat. I mean, no no pain, no game. Uh, so basically what, what these uh, cards here, the Lenormand cards are pointing, is that most likely through a event you are to realize for yourself that... You have everything you need. It is just you have to develop it. That's all. And if you cannot develop it right now, for one or another reason, the right circumstances are going to come in your way. So if you are thinking about making an affair, these cards are kind of advising you not to. If you are thinking about changing your job just because a, a trifle there is making you feel uncomfortable, these cards are advising you not to. It's basically do not take any risks whatsoever so that being said leo this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for december 31st to to january 6th 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again this was a, a general reading for leo star sign and for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different level for every single different leo if you want uh, your situation to be analyzed just like i did for the examples in this video well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing rat signing out now see you next time bye